So here we have a quick addendum video on the Bear Creek Arsenal GPX piston upper receiver, the video that was released yesterday, at least as of time of filming. Now, usually when I do infield videos, it's kind of just to give people a basic understanding of the what it is that I'm shooting and then how it performs. They can see it shoot a couple hundred rounds and kind of get a feel for it. But then my long term review takes a long time to come out, two, three, four months, right? And so yesterday I was very positive on the GPX upper receiver, especially for a budget piston upper receiver. It does the piston things and it's kind of a melding of Bear Creek Arsenal and Superlative Arms. Some people love or hate both of those companies. Now, we did have a pretty major issue on the GPX that I did want you guys to be aware of uh, after filming that video. So yesterday, as of recording this video, I was out shooting this GPX at long range using this as the primary arm as GLX 2.5 to 10 that I'm about to film a video on for gun deals. Anyways, the point being that the upper was actually performing very well at distance. We were taking this in kind of an SPR configuration or a recce configuration, if you will, out to 600 yards with HSM 77 grain match kings, and it was doing really well. It excelled at four, five, 600 yards, no problems whatsoever. I was actually very happy with the accuracy that I was able to get out of it. At the end of the day, I was basically burning through some really crappy ammunition, and I noticed that the gun had stopped cycling. Now, it is a piston system, and when I had done the initial shots of the video, I was getting one failure to lock back with that super weak, uh, what is it, Fort Scott munitions or Sergeant Major ammunitions, that's the one, they're nickel-plated uh, steel-cased ammunition, super weak ammunition, barely runs the system. Anyways, it stopped cycling that really crappy ammunition. So, at the time, I really didn't think much of it, because it was basically on the bleeding edge of cycling to begin with, and then after about three, 400 rounds, it just decided to stop cycling, as the system does get a little bit dirty. But just to make sure that that was the case, that the ammunition was just too weak for the gas setting that I had it set to, because of course this is an adjustable gas block on the piston system, so I went ahead and I took the whole thing apart to try and figure out if it was just naturally not cycling that weaker powered ammunition, or if something had gone awry. And when I looked at the gas block that I praised the other day for being very substantial, I'll roll in some pictures and photos and videos of it and whatnot, but basically it is a pinned gas block with six set screws. Now, when you hear that, and also it's a dimpled barrel, I should mention on top of that. So all of those things combined should mean that that gas block never moves on you. However, the gas block did shift. It was sitting forward by about an eighth, in between an eighth and a quarter of an inch, and it was not like that from the factory. It was pressed up against the shoulder of the gas block journal. So I had to take it apart and figure out what moved. Because usually when you have a pinned gas block and you see the gas block has pushed forward, that's a pretty bad sign because that means that either they cut out a huge amount of the barrel and that pin can move forward and back, or the pin has snapped, or it was not pinned correctly, which was the case on this specific gas block. Now, I hope this is just my upper receiver and that all the other upper receivers don't have this exact same issue, but the pin on the gas block was too low. So while it was making contact with the barrel, and by contact I mean it was touching the barrel, it was not actually digging into the barrel. Usually when you pin a barrel, and I've pinned hundreds of barrels myself, when you pin a barrel, you want to cut into the barrel just a little bit so that that pin cannot rotate forward, back, left, or right because again, it's locked into the gas block and the barrel itself. However, the pin on this upper was just barely touching the barrel and all of the set screws had come loose. Now, I did not torque anything down from the factory. It was just the factory settings. And so basically all of the set screws had come loose and the pin was the only thing even holding the gas block to the barrel because again, this is a piston system. So it has a metal rod slamming back and forth. And just by having that friction on the on the gas block and the barrel via the pin, which again isn't indexed on the barrel properly, it did stop it from completely just flying off the front of the gun, but it was not working whatsoever because again, that rod slamming back and forth just slowly pushed it forward, even though the pin is touching the barrel and providing some friction, it is not indexed properly. So... I hope that this is only my upper receiver, but it is a problem that should be brought to your attention so soon after a positive video is released, because again, I filmed that initial portion a week ago at this point, and then yesterday was out shooting this and ran into that issue. So 
I want that issue to be known to you guys. The remedy that I am going to do for this specific barrel is I'm going to have to go through with a slightly larger tap and uh, bore it out just a little bit so it is actually indexing on the barrel itself. Put in a slightly larger diameter pin and that should resolve the issue. Also, I actually torqued down all of the gas block set screws to 30 inch pounds and made sure that the dimple was indexing properly, which it is indexed off the dimple properly. And all those are torqued down to 30 inch pounds with Permatex 272, which is high temperature thread locker. Basically, that'll go up to about 450 degrees. Not quite as aggressive as um, rock set, but it still does a very good job and allows you to take it off easier than rock set, which is very, very difficult, especially when we're talking about very small gas block screws. So that is the remedy on this specific upper, but it should be noted that the gas block that upon first inspection looked absolutely foolproof, basically overly redundant. It's a dimpled barrel, six set screws, pinned gas block, should never move. However, none of the gas block set screws were torqued down properly and the pin was not pinned properly. So all of those things are basically rendered moot. So that is the update to the GPX. We're still gonna be doing a full thousand round review or 2000 round review, whatever it is that it ends up being at the time it gets pushed out in my video schedule. But again, this is just a quick addendum so that you guys are aware of the issues that I've had with it. So it's not just uh, seemingly positive for the next three or four months. And then I have a review that's negative later on. And some of you guys bought it without realizing there was an issue. So uh, that is what's going on here. And that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace off. Okay, Nathan, you want to go?